All right, let's do lesson for 1106 in algebra, the 10th pace in the course. Page 26 through 29, um, as I've been teaching through math with my students, I've use, been using Saxon math for 30 years, this particular type of problem we don't deal with until advanced math in 11th grade. So you're lucky, you're getting it here in uh, Algebra 1, getting a little exposure to it. It's not really that hard to understand, but I do like to, uh, even with my 11th, 12th graders who are doing it, give them a little lesson so that they understand some of the terminology, okay? With a two-digit number, we have, for instance, here a three and a five, but think about what this really means. 30 plus five, right? So we could say that the tens digit is three, and then we call the ones digit the units digit. So in this case, that would be three for the tens, five for the units digit. So to come up with this value, we would say that it is the tens digit. Um, I'm going to say 10 times the tens digit, okay, plus the units digit. So in this case, I would plug in three for the T and get three times 10, which is 30, plus five. 30 plus five is 35. Now, in these problems, a lot of times they'll have another equation where it says if the digits are reversed, the value is such and such, all right? If we reverse the digits, then that means the T becomes the 5, and then we're going to add the 3 as being the units digit. So now I would get 53. But notice that the formula still is 10T plus U, but now I've reversed. Okay? So what was the 3? So actually, I'm going to change this and make this 10 times the, U, the original units digit plus the original tens digit. So when it's reversed, it's 10 times u plus t. The original, okay, so this formula here is the original number, and this is the formula for when the digits are reversed. Okay, then they'll do problems like this, where they'll say the value of the number was twice the sum of the digits, okay? Well, value means the original number. So that's this formula right here. So we could say this, the original number, is equal to twice the sum, adding the tens digit by itself, just the digit, plus the units digit. In this case, the tens plus the units would be three plus five or eight, okay? And then it says that if we reversed the digits, so that would be this formula, that would be equal to five times the original number, which is this formula, <laughs> and then it says nine less than five times the original number. I'm kind of setting you up for one of the problems you have here in the pace. So I'm not going to solve it for you, but once you do that, and then you, take, you have two equations and you have two unknowns. Distribute everything out so that you just have one t and one u in the first equation, a t and a u in the second equation, and then you can either do substitution or elimination. And uh, if you forget how to do that, you can look back at one of the uh, previous paces or lessons that we have on the website and uh, do substitution or elimination, and you'll come up with T and U. And then you have to read the problem to see, well, what are they actually asking? And in this case, I think this is problem four, it says, what was the original number? So you're gonna take 10 times the answer you get for T, plus the units digit, and that will give you the original number, okay? A lot of steps involved, but um, this is kind of the key to understand that we're playing with the digits, T and U, and the original number has to be this formula, 10 times the tens digit, and then when it's reversed, it's 10 times the units digit plus the tens digit, okay? Set up two formulas and solve, and I hope that little lesson will help you see the cow in that problem and that you'll be able to do it successfully.